and welcome to Rara's Adventures. This is vlog 123. Oh, goodness me. So, I'll repeat everything I just said as you couldn't hear me. So, last week I said that um, I was really busy but I couldn't say what I was doing. So, obviously, last week's happened and now I can tell you. But I can't see what I wrote. I can see what you wrote because I'm reading it. I don't know why. I don't know. Um, so what we're doing, it was my mum's 60th on Saturday. And we will we were there. We were um me and my mother in law, Shirley Roberts, we were making a fairy cake for her 60th. And that is obviously why I couldn't say anything before because I know that mum watches this and I didn't want her knowing because it's all surprised. Um, and I don't want to give away the surprise basically. So yes, that is what happened with that. Um, so we were busy for three or four days I think, um, making this lovely, lovely cake. What I'll do is I'll post a fit picture after this vlog so you can all see. It's totally amazing. Mum absolutely loved it and she's kept all the little fairies and she's going to put them in her fairy garden. So it's really cool, really cool. Um, yeah. Um, also, last week, as you could probably have heard, that um, I had a cold. Not COVID, don't panic. It was just a standard cold, um, um, which then went into a chest infection. Um, and I guess I'm about to have a bit of a rant, really, because um, I don't know if you guys are finding this, but... Trying to get a hold of the doctors is a mission in itself. And then trying to actually see a doctor is next to impossible. Since all this COVID, you can't seem to actually see a doctor face to face. It's all photos or videos. And it's so frustrating. So, obviously, he diagnosed my chest infection over the phone. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's a chest infection. Tablets are working, so... Yeah, but the other thing is, on my hands, I really, really saw, um, and I had to send in photos, whereas I felt he should have seen me to be able to assess it properly. It just really, really frustrates me that they're not seeing you face to face. It makes me quite cross. So at the minute we're going with, oh, we think it's eczema. Yes, it may be eczema. It may be, we'll see. Um, and if not, then he'll see me. And it's just very frustrating. I don't know, there's lots of little things that I've noticed since COVID. It seems to have put them in a bit of a position where they don't actually have to see you anymore. They'll just look at photos. I could be wrong, it's all my own personal view and my own little rant, you know, but it's really frustrating, really frustrating. So yeah, not happy, but hey ho, life goes on. Um, so this week on Thursday, instead of releasing a review, as I said last month, I'm trying to do interviews with people to spread awareness of different um, illnesses, disabilities, and um, stuff, you know, I want to spread more awareness. Shirley Roberts has put, I agree, it's crap now, as most things are done on the phone, and how can they know for sure what it is? Exactly my point, exactly. It's so frustrating, really is, because they're saying one thing, and you're thinking, mm, not 100% sure about that. And it's really annoying what happened to actually seeing a doctor, you know? Oh, oh, grinds my gears. That really does. Um, really does. So frustrating. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. And, and try and get a hospital appointment. I know that the NHS are working really hard and they're playing catch up. And there's much more serious conditions out there that need seeing to... I get that, but you just feel like a number, a number on a sheet, 
you're just a number, you're not a patient, you're not a person, you're just a number. That's how I feel. That's my own opinion. But yeah. So as I was saying, I gotta get out this rant or so I'll go on and on and on. As I was saying, on Thursday, normally we do um product reviews, but as I said last month, I want to try and do more interviews with people once a month, spread awareness of different conditions. Um, illnesses that may or may not be known about and try and get it more out there. So on Thursday we are doing an interview um, with a lovely lady who is watching, Miss Shirley Roberts, yes, and that will be at 1pm, not am because it's way too early, 1pm <laughs> and that will be live. So. Um, I will be putting a post out, I will be promoting that and I'd love for you to join us. It will be a set of questions that we'll be going through, learning about what the condition is, how it affects you and stuff like that. Um, really looking forward to it, it should be a good one. Um, and this is what I hope to do once a month if I can get enough people on board. So if this is something that you might be interested in, doing an interview to share with others, different conditions then please contact me message me email me i'm on instagram i'm on facebook and obviously i've got my website um i'll leave all the links down below after so that you can contact me and you can either do it if it was 1 a.m you would be on your own yeah i know i know i just got my daughter <laughs> <coughs> excuse me <laughs> just in virtue. um yeah, so, yeah, please contact me, let me know, and it would be really nice to be able to do this once a month and share with others um, loads of different types of illnesses and how it affects people, and also sharing um, coping techniques, how you manage with your illness, different things, different aids that have helped you. Um, this will all be helping other people who may have the same or similar condition and maybe help them you never know you never know so i'm really looking forward to this like i said i'll leave links down below and feel free to contact me if you'd like to do an interview the interview can be live or pre-recorded whatever you feel more comfortable with um it's totally up to you um and i'm hoping that i've worked a way to do a cross video so say you don't live local to me i'm not able to get to you and vice versa we can do it online and share a video link and do it like that um so it's different ways um so yeah just contact me and let me know so that is on thursday at 1 p.m not a.m um on on thursday really looking forward to that um that that's pretty much all um i don't know if you guys see but i i normally like to go for a little walk daily and i haven't been able to do it and because of this blooming chest infection and it's so frustrating but i'm hoping to go for a little walk tomorrow i don't go far i go in my mobility scooter and then i try and do you know as far as i can and then stop and then a little bit further stop um, I'm really missing it. It's, it's horrible when you get out of your routine. But hopefully, I'm going to try and get back on that tomorrow. That would be lovely. Um, yeah, so that's all the news I have for you today. Uh, today's quote is, this is my quote of the week. Um, if I cannot do great things, I can do small things in a great way. I thought that was really cool. And that is by... Uh, Martin Luther King, J.R. Um, I thought that was quite a nice one. Okay, so that is me um, for today. And we will be live on Thursday with the interview. Hope you can all join us. And remember, if you're interested, just give me a message or call me um, or email me whatever's the easiest and we can talk about how you would like to do the interview and take it from there okay thank you for joining and i look forward to seeing you next time 
Take care. Lots of love. Bye for now. Bye.